I thought I'd share with you one of our most recent projects on the house and show you something that's really interesting when you uh, buy a house that's uh, 133 years old some of the things that you can find when you're tearing things apart and uh, and trying to fix things up so I've got a a doorway that was put between what used to be a, a patio and the outside it's been added on and built into a kitchen but it needs a lot of work so <clears throat> I took down all the wallpaper and so forth and I found this beam spanning about what is it nine feet and uh, I'm just so you guys know I am not a carpenter or an expert in any of this I'm just a do-it-yourselfer guy and YouTube is my teacher so or internet for source of information but let me show you the beam that I took out of that location and then I'll show you what I did to fix it so here you're looking at the beam that came out it's two two by sixes somewhat nailed together and then the ends you see all those huge nails sticking out of the end of that thing that beam was nailed to the uh, stud on both ends they both look the same with uh, looks like six or seven large nails and then in between the boards to build this beam they just stuffed in some some spacers just scraps of shingles it looks like old wooden shingles to give you the proper spacing so you have a, a three and a half inch wide beam so it fits in the in the wall well I know enough about structure to know that six nails on the end of a board into another board is not adequate support for a beam there should be this beam should be sitting on some uh, posts or or studs in order to support it both sides were the same and again this is a nine foot span so what I ended up doing I thought well I wonder how long that's been in there it held surprisingly so then I built this beam again it's two two by sixes <clears throat> and they're nailed together and this is glued glued and nailed with a full spacer from one end to the next and it's also uh, liquid nails glued together so I mean this is a pretty solid beam and then I had it supported by the uh, wall studs or uh, I, I think they call them uh, jack studs or something like that anyway I put this beam in there and this one I opened it up 10 inches so this was almost almost 10 feet put it in by the end of the day I had a slight bow in this beam. I could see it as I walk into the kitchen. And I realized that it, it was not adequate to support the weight above. So after sleeping on it overnight, woke up the next morning and did some more research. So this is take, take two. Let me go inside and I'll show you what I ended up doing. Had to pull it out again, pull the beam out. And this is what I ended up putting in there. Now it might look kind of funny because I've got this camera on wide angle, but I don't know how well the light is. I ended up putting this beam in and this beam here is an actual beam. It's made for this. Finally it took me a couple tries to get it right, but this is what they call a LVL laminated veneer lumber or something like that and this one is two two beams bolted together with special bolts and a lot of them 
to uh, give it the strength that's required. And then as you can see, I've got it supported on two jack studs there with a spacer in between to give me the distance that I need to fully support. And then on this side, I basically have the same thing, two, two jack studs in there to fully support the beam. And those go clear down to the floor. And Ruger's helping me out. The floor also right there is supported with uh, foundation clear to the ground because this used to be an exterior wall right here across this span. This one also used to be an exterior wall and I had to cut into the wall um, to get to the stud so I could bury this beam and then eventually this will be built out and then covered up with sheetrock so that you can't really see that uh, the exterior part but there's some lath and plaster on the interior wall there and then this this whole area here this kitchen used to be a like a back porch or a patio or something but it was converted into a kitchen I don't know how many years ago but just to let you know this is some of the things that I'm dealing with as we go through trying to bring this this house up to uh, speed and this kitchen is the biggest project that we have I've done a little bit of rewiring up here putting in uh, a couple light fixtures and re removing the wires to where we actually want the lights to be tore out the upper cabinets and then we're gonna end up tearing out these lower cabinets but that's the project on hand right now get this sheetrock sheetrock up here I got all new insulation up there and then of course this beam installed and uh, today we'll be finishing up the sheetrock on this last or not sheetrock but the insulation on this last piece back here across this ceiling and then I can start working on sheetrock so I just wanted to kind of let you guys see what we're up to and uh, what we've been dealing with when you're a do-it-yourselfer rookie and you have no clue what you're doing, you got to do a lot of internet research and that sort of thing to make sure we're getting this done right or spend the money and have a professional come in here and do it. But I have the time and I have little money, so this is how we're going to do it. I know there's some, uh, some of you out there might know a whole lot more about this than I do because, like I said, I'm far from a professional. I really don't know what I'm doing I gotta look it all up but it's coming together and I really wanted to take this video so I could show friends and family and they can see some before after as to what this place used to look like and then what it turns into hopefully it's not a disaster and let you guys see it but hope everyone out there is doing well it's time for me to put the camera down and get to work and uh, I'll keep you posted on how the how the project continues to move on but sure I'm happy about this new beam it uh, definitely is solid enough to uh, support the the span I call or talk to the people at the hardware store and they told me that this is what I needed so that's what we purchased and that's what we installed just a rough idea on on dollars that beam that I just showed you that I made out back was uh, oh it cost me about 20 bucks but this particular beam the correct beam of course was more expensive this one was about a hundred dollars by the time I got the bolts and the beams and two by fours to support it so a hundred dollars to keep the roof up well worth it to us and I actually slept a whole lot better last night than I did the night before once we got the beam installed what I what I believe to be correctly so I uh, guess we'll let you go I'll get back to work and I hope everybody has a good weekend see you on the next one